Light it up. Hey guys, thanks for joining us again here at GP Knives. This week, Kitch and I are gonna go over the holiday gift guide on our website. And for that Kitch, we've got four categories to go over and we're gonna pick our three favorites, different price ranges from each category. So first up is automatic knives and we're gonna start off with the Kershaw Launch 9. Yep. But really the whole launch line's great. Yeah, I think that the Launch 9 specifically, really awesome because it's really small, got a deep carry clip, you know, they're under a hundred bucks. Mm -hmm. And then the Kershaw Launch Line in general, relatively, I wouldn't say cheap, but you know, affordable, American made, you get good blade steels. It's an awesome little knife, fires really hard. If there's somebody out there on your Christmas list that wants an auto and you don't want to spend over a hundred bucks, this is probably the knife to get. It's going to be hard to beat for sure. Definitely. Great price point on the Kershaw launches. We love them. Uh, next up, so our mid-range picks is going to be Protec knives. They really serve that real mid-range. They get some higher end too, but mm. we're going to start with the Godson, which is a great everyday knife. Yeah. Godson is an automatic staple, basically. Mm. This thing has been around for a while. People love it. It's got a standard Emerson style clip. You can switch that out for any kind of like Casey Lynch Benchmade clip. If yeah. you want deep carry. Sure. Fires hard, classic, like stiletto spear point blade. It's got just kind of like those classic Italian, like, you know, aesthetic to it. Yeah, it's kind of what you think of, I guess, if anyone, uh, you know, if you try to think of an old style mm -hmm. automatic knife, you know, what that kind of image comes to your head. It's like a coffin shape handle, yep. really pointy blade, and obviously well made. I mean, quality for sure from Protec. Yep. American made again, awesome blade steels on those. I mean, Hard to beat, once again, yeah. if you're looking in that middle range, it's hard to beat. Um, next up, so for our high-end pick is gonna be the Microtech Knives Ultratech. Yeah. Really great out the front. Whenever it comes to out the fronts, I think that if you show most people an out the front knife, they're going to recognize it as an Ultratech. Like mm -hmm. you show this Ultratech to anybody, they're gonna be like, yeah that's, yeah, that's what I think of when I think OTF. So this is definitely kind of the flagship for Microtech. So that's why we picked it. You know, yeah. But Microtech's yeah. got a lot of different stuff. And then the Ultratech itself comes in Tons of different blade shapes, tons of colors, mm -hmm. tons of different, you know, full serrated, half serrated, no serrated, mm -hmm. double edge, single edge. It's super versatile. So no matter what you're buying for, you know, person or like, you know, if they need it for their job, LEO, something like that, mm -hmm. you can definitely get that within the Microtech line. There's something out there for everyone for sure. Mm -hmm. So hope you guys check out all our automatic knives on our website. All right, so the next category we have for you guys is the EDC category. Uh, so a lot of things could fall into this kitsch. Uh, really hard to narrow this one down, but our first pick for, for basically the, the lower priced item, uh, really good price, is a Weatherman Skeletool. Yep. Really nice USA made multi-tool. Yeah. This is going to be an awesome option for anybody who, you know, has to have a bunch of tools at work at one time. So <laughs> basically anybody who, uh, needs to have to have a pair of pliers, a bit driver, and they want to carry it all in one kind of convenient package. It mm -hmm. does have a pocket clip on it and a carabiner. That's nice. So I've noticed that a lot of guys carry stuff like this who are like, you know, a lot of hunters carry these for messing around with tree stands. A lot of guys who like ride bikes, stuff like that. Because sure. it's got little tools on it. You never know when you're going to need to like, I don't know, adjust something. Mm -hmm. I always just let my bike break down and I end up pushing it home. So maybe I need one of these. <laughs> hint, hint. Anybody who's going to buy me some gifts. There you go. This is probably uh, on my list. It's definitely a handy thing to have around. Um, I can think of like electricians, yep. any kind of contractor type type job like that where you need all that. And you also get a knife blade, which is kind of cool. Yep. So if you don't carry a pocket knife every day and you know somebody who doesn't can't maybe carry a pocket knife every day, guess what? You got a knife blade on your multi-tool. And it does lock. It's a little line That's lock pretty too. neat. Yeah. So it's not going to close on your hands. And honestly, even though it looks kind of, you know, weird, mm -hmm. it's actually pretty comfortable in the hand. It kind of just like melts in there. I mean, this bottom half is basically shaped like a knife. He's going to come over the top. Yeah. It's not bad. Not a bad knife for being also a pair of pliers and a screwdriver. Definitely. Makes a great gift. All right, guys. So if you want to go up to a little bit, little bit more cost on the next one, uh, we're going to do our Spyderco exclusive Manix 2. Uh, 14350. Great yeah. price, Kitch. Obviously the coolest Manix in the galaxy. Mm -hmm. Got the Stormtrooper vibe to it. This one is an awesome option for anybody who has been thinking about a Manix or has mentioned that they want a Manix in the past. And you look at the price and you're kind of like, ah, I don't know, that's a little bit too much. Mm -hmm. Because this one is cheaper than all those. Right. And it's better. Right. So white FRN handles. It's got the standard ball bearing lock. And then it's got Rex 45 blade steel. Mm -hmm. So awesome steel, great cutting power. It's going to hold an edge for a long time. It's going to mm -hmm. be not... Too terrible to sharpen. Yeah. Uh, just awesome. One of my favorite blade steels. I have 
a bunch of our exclusives in Rex 45. Yep. I've never had any kind of problem with any of them. So we still have a small quantity of, the, of those left, guys, and we'll have the Sap and Blade coming up soon on that. So the high-end EDC pick uh, for, for the holidays and maybe of this year is the Benchmade Narrows. So this is where they took uh, the bug out and made it high-end, basically. Uh, pretty cool knife. Yeah, this is a really neat knife. I know I saw this last year at SHOT Show before it came out, and it was kind of like already my pick of the year mm -hmm. because it's so thin. It's so thin, and it doesn't feel like that. Like, if right. you have a really thin knife, a lot of times for me, I hate them. I like a big, like, fat I'm hand. fill your hand. Yeah. yeah. This shouldn't do that, but it does somehow. It still feels great. It's got the bug out clip on there. I guess that helps. It kind of fills in the palm a little bit. Mm -hmm. It's an awesome, just high end. Like you said, they just took the bug out and made it super classy, super high end. It's the thinnest titanium I think I've ever seen. Yeah. Definitely. You know, where we were talking about that, like, lightweight polymer makes things, man, what a, what a light carry in your pocket. Well, titanium that thin is going to also be just as light and yeah. stronger. Yeah, and it's know. milled out on the side too, so yeah. it's even thinner at some points. Like yeah. you think, dang, that's pretty thin. A lot of cool machining there. on that. Super thin. Uh, what's the blade steel on that? You this is M390. Nice M390 steel on that. So if you got somebody on your list who's uh, you know a classy guy, who wants a real classy carry, maybe a nice office carry. Yeah. Um, definitely think of the Narrows. I mean, it's something sure. that they're they're really going to enjoy. Well built. Um, made in America. Too. Super cool. Yeah, all these are made in America. Good picks from us, huh? The next category we have for you guys is outdoors. So in the budget pick for that one, Kitsch, we're going to go with the uh, Peanut Beast Flashlight from Maritac. Yeah. It's little. It's dark out, but it's got lots of light. It is an awesome little, little light. I almost said knife. It's a light. <laughs> but the kind of the cool thing about the Peanut Beast is that it is so small. And then it's over 500 lumens of output. Mm -hmm. So it's really bright. It's also not very floody. So you can actually use it to see kind of far away. Mm -hmm. So if you're walking in the woods at night, um, you like to like take a dog out, whatever, maybe a raccoon hunt. You're going in the morning, you're trying to get to your tree stand. You can turn this on, find your way. And then, honestly, I would probably just carry it like on a, like a necklace. Mm. And then just kind of look around right. and then let it go. Yeah. Awesome. Comes in at a great little budget, you know. This one always makes me smile because it looks like a full-size flashlight from like my past, and then I look at it and they just shrunk it. Yeah, it's like, honey, I shrunk the kids. Yeah, it looks like those old flashlight. like those old Rayback flashlights with the big yeah. switch on them. Yeah, yeah. So this does come in different colors, and I think we've even had titanium or steel before. Uh, different varieties in this, and there's other flashlights in this price range as well. Mm -hmm. We just thought this one was really neat, just for to throw in your pocket, throw in your pack, throw in your purse, whatever mm -hmm. you know, just to have one. I mean, it gets dark at four o'clock now, so you might as well have a nice little light on you all the time. Isn't that so great? that is our budget pick, uh, the Peanut Beast. Uh, mid range, we're going to go with Shane Cameron and Shane's pick here. It's the SE4HM. Um, it's a great size fixed blade with a rounded handle. Yeah. So basically, this is just an SE4. Guys used to buy them back in the day and grind that choil out and then throw scales on them. So mm. SE was like, well, we can, we can do, we that. Should do that. So boom, they started doing it. Yeah. And basically, the way that I describe it, we sell a lot of these in the store. Mm -hmm. And I always kind of describe it to guys is it's like a French trade knife on steroids. Like back in the 1700s, the French used to trade knives with the Native Americans. Oh, sure. And so they called them French trade knives. And they looked basically just like this. They're just a drop point blade, super simple rounded simple. handle. Mm -hmm. Usually it was some kind of wood. And they weren't super thick. This one is pretty thick. Pretty thick. Rounded handle, micarta. Feels great in your palm. Yeah. yeah. Awesome for any kind of like bushcrafting task and just general like camp chores. Mm -hmm. You know, and honestly, we're going to get into the hunting stuff later, but it's not a bad hunting knife either. Definitely. I mean, what can't you do outdoors with this knife? It's a it's a great size too. It's it's a good size, but it's not too big for your pack. Yep. You can throw it in your pack. You know, throw it in your truck or whatever. Um, I just think it's a great all around fixed blade. I think it comes with a Kydex sheath, which yep. is great too. Um, a lot of the SE line does not, but these rounded handles, I believe, do. Um, yeah, the 4HM, super great, right mid-range price range. That's our pick. Yeah. At least it's Shane's pick. It could be our pick, too. Yeah, I'll, I'll say it's my pick, too, just to stand in solidarity. Definitely. So if we want to go in the higher range, if you've got somebody out there that you're like, man, he's an outdoorsy guy, um, and I, I, I got a little more money to spend this year, we're, we're going to go with the Topps Knives Tom Brown Tracker. This yeah. one's in stainless steel, and that's a lot of knife kits. Yeah. So this is the Tracker 2, so it's a little bit smaller than the big like T-Rex tooth Tom Brown Tracker. It's designed to be a complete outdoor tool. So Tom Brown designed this knife, has a saw here. If you flip it over, you can use it to saw through things. Mm. It does get a little thick up here, so it can't saw all the way through some stuff, 
but that's okay because the front end of it is basically an axe. Mm. So if you look at it this way, it's rounded like an axe. Right. And then down here you have, you know, stuff for making feather sticks, regular things. And then I've even found that this little like tooth hanging down here, perfect for like using as a gut hook. So you mm. make a little incision, get it in there. Interesting. Yeah. Pretty interesting knife. You can get way back here. It's got two front finger twirls on it. That's to either get up here, use this thumb rest for push cuts. You can get back here, use it to chop. This one is in stainless steel. I was so going to say, typically, kind of typically Topps uses a 1095, yep. like a, a carbon steel. But this is kind of a special one that they had stainless in. Yep. So this one's stainless, and instead of being like black traction coat, it's just, you know, kind of just like stone wash. Heavy stone wash. Yeah, looks good. Yeah. yeah. So part of handle. would you say this is like the multi-tool of outdoor knives? Pretty much. That's <laughs> what it was designed to be. It was supposed to be, uh, you know, a one-tool philosophy. You take one tool into the woods, you can use it for multiple things. That right. was what the Tom Brown Tracker was designed to be. It's supposed to be able to attack, you know, whatever whatever you want, whatever's in front of you, whatever you got to handle, you know. So definitely a cool knife. Um, we hope you guys enjoy these outdoor picks and pick some good gifts for your outdoor friends. And the final category we have for you this week is hunting knives, probably Kitch's favorite so far. We're going to start out with a line from Finland called Martini Knives, and we've got a nice selection from theirs. This is a pretty cool one with a gut hook. Yeah, so this is the gut hook skinner. It's obviously got that nice belly for skinning stuff. Got a big gut hook for zipper and open stuff. Mm -hmm. It is a really cool little knife, actually. It's uh, Martef coated, so you're not going to get any kind of like rust. And then it's Inox, so it's stainless. It's going to hold a pretty good edge. It's going to be easy to sharpen. Mm -hmm. And then Martini in general, like we have a bunch of them in stock right now, and all of them are really good little hunting knives. Yeah. So Great price. They keep the price down with those like polymer handles, yeah. like rubber handles kind of thing. Yeah, they're really grippy too. Yeah. I mean, like, and ergonomically, like they got like, you know, it's plastic, but it's got like a good feel to it. It's got some pretty good weight back here. They're like rat thing, you know? Yeah. I think that for yeah. the price, that's probably one of the best hunting knives that you can buy. Think of like Mora knives, guys, if you've heard of Mora or seen Mora before, but this is more, I would say Martini is, is kind of like a Mora, but strictly in that hunting yep. category. I mean, that is what they're, they're made for. Uh, really well built. Like I said, they, they kind of do uh, little cheaper materials, I guess, on like the handles and stuff, but they don't sacrifice on the blades. And, and these edges are really sharp, really nice. Super sharp. It's a great, great, great price for a hunting knife for that hunter on your list for sure. Um, mid range, we're going to go with our friend Craig Cameron. Um, so he makes a lot of custom knives, but this is his first mid tech yeah. called the Workman. So this is the mid tech Workman. It is an awesome little knife for not just hunting, but I like to use a smaller knife mm -hmm. uh, whenever I'm inside of a deer, field dressing it, gutting it out. Sure. I'm not trying to have a big, you know, seven inch booby knife in there. My right. grandpa always used one of those, always freaked me out. So I was always like, man, I'm going to go super small. This is perfect for that. You get a lot more handle than, than blade. Mm -hmm. You can really get in there and it's hollow ground. So it's going to be super slicey. It's really thin behind the edge. You have a good point. You can cap it. I mean, this is an awesome hunting knife, too. Great price. It was built basically to be like, you know, working knife, but really lends itself to hunting, too. And then the price also, yeah. Mm -hmm. Exactly. Uh, the customs, over $200 for yeah, sure. Easily. This guy's $150. Yeah. And it's a mid-tech, but, you know, Craig sharpened it. Yeah, he finishes them. Yeah, so yeah. the handles, it's, a, it's basically a camera, and it's an awesome way to get into custom knives at an under $200 price point. Sure. Pretty crazy. So these came in um, a couple different colors, G10. This one's orange and black G10. Um, real nice. It's, it's smooth, but it's got this like really grippiness to it. Yep. Uh, feels awesome in the hand. It still fills your hand for a smaller hunting knife. A um, few colors on these, like I said, guys, you're going to want to check those out before they're gone for sure. Um, and finally, for our high-end category for hunting this year, we are going to go with the dressed up tagged out. Yep. Pretty cool knife. This one is really neat. So... A lot of guys want to carry a hunting knife, but they don't want to carry a fixed blade. Mm -hmm. Or a lot of guys know the foam in the pack or whatever. This thing is light enough to where you can just like carry this in your pocket. Sure. You can throw this in your pocket, you throw it in your coveralls, yeah. whatever. This thing's going to be capable of pretty much any you know field dressing task you need. It's still mm -hmm. pretty small. It's got kind of a small blade on it. You can choke up on it. The ergonomics are really nice. Full carbon fiber handle, mm -hmm. deep carry clip, and then magna cut blade steel. Oh wow! And then it's coated orange, so everything else is kind of blacked out. If you drop it, you can sure, find it. Hopefully, sure. I've lost a few orange knives, so it's not foolproof. But right. I'm, you know, not it the is, smartest guy out there either. So <laughs> it is definitely got that high viz orange going yeah. on it. Um, I love that it's it's it's. This is kind of just what Benchmade style is lately. Is like how thin can we get it? Yeah. How lightweight can we get it with the best materials possible? 
Um, just super well-made knife. I love that they removed the thumb studs on this. Yep. Because like you were talking about earlier, like kind of getting in there. Yep. You don't want anything to get hung up. Yep. Um, so this is definitely something that you can use. Um, still really, really great knife for a hunter. Hunting companion, like you said, maybe the fixed blade companion, like yep. as a backup. Definitely. Um, really just great knife to have out in the woods. And if you, if you do drop it, you should be able to see it. I hope. Hopefully. Hopefully. So hopefully we have helped you guys out, uh, help by picking out some uh, great hunting knives. You can check out the hunting knife section on our website at gpknives.com. We've got all types of varieties, fixed blades, folding knives for hunting, and, and get the best one you can for the hunter on your list. All right, guys. So that was our holiday gift guide. Chris and I went over, like always, a lot of knives. <laughs> so we had a bunch of stuff, a bunch of different categories. All that stuff's going to be linked down in the description below. So comment, like, subscribe, tell us what you thought about this. If you guys have any special things that you're buying for the people in your life for the holidays, let us know that too. Catch you guys next week. Thank you for watching. All right, shut it down.